What's up beautiful people? How are you all doing? I'm doing great. Today I will be discussing two fragrances from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. So these two fragrances are called Uomo, Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo and Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo Signature. So these two fragrances are well-known fragrances, sweet fragrances. So I'm gonna start with individual reviews first. So I'm gonna start with the Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo first and then the signature one and in the latter half of the video I will be discussing these two fragrances together comparing these two fragrances with one another and not to mention I will be picking my favorite as well so stay tuned and let me start with the review first start with Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo so this is the packaging you can see simple packaging so Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo is EDT concentration or the toilet concentration and this one contains 100 ml juice so this is the bottle lovely looking bottle so you can see Ferragamo written here Ferragamo and the front you can see Uomo Salvatore Ferragamo you can see the juice beautiful looking bottle and this one comes with a built-in atomizer so this is the clip and this is how the atomizer works see it sprays decent amount of juice I really love the atomizer but sometimes this fixed atomizers they do work crazily because sometimes they starts to squirt <laughs> but anyways this one is working really well you can see beautiful sprayer now let me start discussing the notes Salvatore Ferragamo Uomo contains cardamom black pepper and bergamot right at the top then the meat contains ambroxan sweets and orange blossom and the base contains sandalwood cashmere wood and tonka bean so these are the notes now what do I detect when I spray this fragrance according to me this is a sweet category fragrance with aromatic edges so let me spray this on my hand I really love the atomizer works really well at least my unit works really well so the smell now like I told you this is a sweet aromatic kind of fragrance at least to me so the opening is really nice I really like the opening I can feel that yes there is slight bit of freshness coming through but the best part is the cardamom note the bergamot mixing with the cardamom is just exquisite in this one the opening really nice aromatic and slightly citrusy opening beautiful the sweetness starts to pop up and I can actually feel the sweetness now I can actually detect the vanilla so I'm getting this beautiful tonka creaminess not to mention people will tell you that this fragrance smells like tiramisu so to me this is I feel yes there is this coffee note in this one that gives this fragrance the tiramisu vibe the coffee note is not listed but I can feel that there is a slight hint of coffee so let me tell you the, how the coffee note feels to me imagine a cup of latte uh, where you dip one or two pieces of cream and cookies so the smell that you're gonna get from the coffee mixing with the cream and cookies so that kind of smell that kind of delicate coffee smell I'm getting so I can see why people call this a tiramisu fragrance so yes the starting is aromatic fresh then this one starts to become coffee dominant at least to me the sweetness is nice they have listed sweets I don't know what kind of sweets but to me this one feels like vanilla and coffee like I told you a cup of latte where you dip one or two cream and cookies so there's this vanilla kind of sweetness there's this coffee kind of blend 
and I can smell this slight hint of white floral in this fragrance. Very mild white floral, nice. So when this fragrance starts to dry down, in the far dry down, I can detect this muskiness. I'm getting a lot of muskiness. I have the far dry down here. Yep, I can get this creamy kind of muskiness, creamy, musky, and woody dry down with the musk and the woodiness in the far dry down. Really nice fragrance. Smell wise, this is a winner for me. I really love this fragrance. Now, coming to the price, you can find this fragrance in Bangladesh within a price range of 4,500 taka. $41 to $45 roughly. Performance wise, this is a good performer, not an excellent performer, but to me, this is good because I can extract four hours on my skin. I can extract four hours of longevity on my skin with a projection of one and a one hour to one and a half hour. I like the smell, so there is no, I can't complain about the performance. Smell, smell actually matters to me. So, I'm happy with the smell so even if this one gives me two hour i'm happy but this one actually lasts for more than four hours for me on my clothing more than four hours on my skin yes four hour four hour ish mark season wise let me tell you this fragrance is a sweet fragrance so you can use this fragrance in winters in fall in late fall in winter but i think this one this variant salvatore ferragamo uomo can be used all year round because I can smell this green vibe, this aromatic vibe, and a slight bit of freshness from the top. But yes, the dry down is sweet, coffee like, vanilla based. So this can be worked all year round. But this is mainly a winter fragrance. But I can rock this all year round, no problem. You can wear this fragrance when you're going out with your friends, when you're hanging, when you're going for a party when you're hanging out with your friends so because of this fragrance i got a lot of compliments so anyways you can wear this fragrance whenever you want let's move on to the next one so next up is salvatore ferragamo uomo signature so this flanker is a matured version of the previous uomo that i already reviewed so why matured version you'll know so this is the box black color box similar looking box like the previous one but this but this one is black color now this one is eau de parfum concentration 100 ml juice this is the bottle uomo signature really nice looking bottle see attractive bottle design you can see the curve you can see the similar Ferragamo written on the sides, really nice. Salvatore Ferragamo, Uomo signature. Let me show you the atomizer, similar type of atomizer like the Uomo built in atomizer. Let me spray this here. See how this one squirts. This is really annoying sometimes, the weird kind of squirt, type of squirt. <laughs> but if you spray this perfectly, this one is a nice sprayer. See? Let's move on to the notes. So this fragrance contains pink pepper, mandarin, and grapefruit right at the top. Then the meat contains cardamom, cinnamon, and cypress. And the base contains leather, tonka, toasted coffee beans, and patchouli. So now, this is fragrance. What do I detect when I spray this fragrance? Is it actually similar to the Uomo? Or is it different? So from the first hit, you're gonna feel like that this is a different fragrance. Yes, this is a different fragrance. Let me tell you that at some point you'll feel like Uomo and 
sorry, Uomo signature and Uomo both share the same DNA. So this is a flanker, so expect some changes. So what are the changes? When I spray this fragrance, this one, from the get-go, I can smell this slight bit of freshness with added leather. This is the change. So the leather is there, the leather is popping up on my skin. From my skin, I can easily get the leather. There's this slight bit of freshness from the grapefruit that is. And the, with the leather, I'm getting this beautiful muskiness. Yes, from the initial hit, I can smell this leather, musk, and this beautiful grapefruit citrusy vibe. So the opening, I can feel the leather, I can feel there's this really the, the coffee note, the toasted coffee beans, they have listed. The coffee note starts coming up slowly. So when this one starts to dry down, you'll feel that, okay, this one smells kind of similar to the Uomo. Yes, because the DNA, the sweet kind of DNA is similar. Both have this coffee kind of DNA. But this one is brilliant because of the leather. I can smell this leather. I can smell the grapefruit in the opening. And there's this beautiful cardamom not giving this the aromatic edge. So aromatic sweet in the middle. I can feel that I have the dry down of Uomo here. So I can easily differentiate the smells because I, I know the leathery one is the Uomo signature. So don't think that this one has this skanky leather. No, this has a very nice smooth blend of leather with cardamom in it. So you're going to get this aromatic round edge as well in this fragrance. And not to mention the coffee note is the match winner here. The dark roasted coffee like smell, like I told you, starts coming in. Now I can easily detect the coffee note. So coffee and leather, such a good combination. This is why I'm telling you that coffee and leather, this combination is a mature combination. Not everyone will like this combination. So young people out there might not like the leathery note, the bitter coffee smell, but if you have acquired taste, you will love this fragrance. The leather, the aromatic touch from this one, the sweetness from the vanilla, tonka -ish sweetness, and the bitterness from the dark roasted coffee blends in really well. Lovely smell when this starts to dry down. I can smell the woodiness there is this base of creaminess in this fragrance i'm getting this slight bit of musk but woody and creamy dry down if you have acquired nose you'll get the leather you'll get the coffee so this is slightly different from the uomo because of the leather beautiful sophisticated elegant mature kind of fragrance so this one projects for one and a half hour or so and lasts on my skin for five hours so there goes the performance now pricing wise this will cost you 5500 taka to 6000 taka in bangladesh 50 dollar to 55 dollar roughly now occasions occasion wise you can pull this off whenever you want at least i can pull this off whenever i want i like dark dense fragrances so this works for me this is a winter banger, I can say. This is going to work excellently in winter season, in late fall, when the weather is nice, tolerable. So this is a winter fragrance. And you can also carry this in summer nighttime. If you are in a controlled environment, you can try this fragrance. But this is, like I told you, a winter banger. I've talked about the performance, the smell, the season everything now let me do a face to face comparison and show you my favorite pick okay so now let me pick my favorite these two shares the same dna the sweet dna from the vanilla the coffee so this is a sweet 
coffee based fragrances both are sweet coffee based fragrances one you will get the tiramisu like feeling and in this one you will get the dark leathery roasted coffee bean type of feeling so they share the same dna but there are differences this one to me feels like like i told you a cup of latte where you dip cream and cookies like this is the kind of feeling that i get from this fragrance and this one feels like roasted coffee beans so really nice roasted coffee beans but there is this vanilla that is actually rounding up the darkness from the roasted coffee bean and smoothens it the flavor so really nice dark fragrance but there is this sweetness but this is a lot more sweeter in terms of the smell so this is a little darker so in terms of smell which one is my favorite pick in terms of smell i'm gonna go with this one <laughs> i'm gonna go with this one i really love this fragrance but if i had to pick one then i'm gonna go with this one in terms of the smell so performance wise both are kind of similar this one works for me for four hours on my skin this one gives me five hours so not much difference you can see if i have to actually give one the credit for a better performer then this one will be the better performer pricing wise both are more or less similar this one in bangladesh will cost you 4500 taka and this one in bangladesh will cost you 5500 taka 1000 taka more or less so now let me give you my final verdict which one i like the most i'm gonna say this one is my favorite and then this one don't sleep on this fragrance this is a banger as well i love both these fragrances but like i told you i have to pick one for this video i'm gonna go with this one so you guys let me know your pick if you tried these two fragrances let me know which one you prefer so drop by my comments section so there goes my review for today i'll see you guys next time so take care everyone peace